Hi, it's Deb with the Help Club for Moms. Well, I'm here today to talk to you about joy, the pursuit of joy, and also I wanna to talk to you about something that the Help Club is starting on August 21st that is really, really exciting and that will help you to have more joy in your life. Joy, well, if you think about joy, what does God's word say about joy? God says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, Rejoice at all times, pray without ceasing, give thanks in every circumstance, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So it's right there, and it's all over the Word of God, that God wants us to have more joy. And He doesn't say only to have joy when our circumstances are good and everything is fine. He also says to have more joy in all circumstances and to give thanks in these circumstances. And it's God's will for us that we do that. Well, why is it so hard? Why is the pursuit of joy elusive and hard? And as moms, it's that's an easy uh, question to answer because we have children and we have sibling rivalry and we have chores to do and laundry that piles up and husbands and sometimes we can fuss with our husbands and sometimes we can have financial pressures and relational issues or we might be sick. There's so many areas of our life that can really beat us down and cause us to lose our joy as a mom. And you know what else? You know who hates you having joy as a mom is your enemy, the devil. You know, the Bible says that your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a lion looking for someone to devour. That is an amazing picture if you think about that. And that was what God says about Satan, that he wants to devour you. He hates your joy. And you need to know, and the Bible says this all the time, but you need to know that you have two things going on around you at all times. Satan is trying to steal your joy. He wants you to be a grumpy mom. He wants you to get mad at your kids all the time. He wants you to get mad at God and feel disappointed with God. But God is continually calling you to joy. He he is continually offering joy to you and you just have to take it honestly and the place that helps us to pursue joy is right here it's our mind it's our thoughts you know uh, Philippians 4 8 says whatever is finally brothers and sisters whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable if anything is excellent or praiseworthy. Think about such things. Now, how many of us think those things on a daily basis? Most of the time we think about things like worries or anxieties or fights that we have with people or hurt feelings or depression or depressive thoughts. You know, those are the things that a lot of times that Satan just really uses to steal your joy because he attacks your mind. Um, so what does, how do we overcome this? How do we overcome these thoughts, these negative thoughts, and how do we pursue joy? Well, 2 Corinthians 10, 5 says to give your thoughts to Jesus. I love that because God never asks us to do anything apart from him. So number one, he says, give your thoughts to Jesus. And number two, he wants you to think true and noble and excellent praiseworthy, all the things of Philippians 4, 8. Well, the Help Club for Moms have really uh, been thinking about this and praying about this. And a couple of years ago, we went through the Joy Challenge uh, with Tommy Newberry. Tommy Newberry is an expert at joy. He wrote a whole book on Philippians 4.8 and he took that book and made it into an online curriculum to help people to have more joy in their life. And so for a Christmas present, a couple of years ago, my husband and I bought it for our whole team and we went through the Joy Challenge. And we could not stop talking about how much it helped us and all the different things that Tommy talked about. And he really unpacks this whole thing and the things that hold us back from joy. And he really helped us all to learn just this one little simple thing. The biggest thing I learned was how to replace a negative thought with a positive thought. I mean, that sounds elementary, but as soon as a thought comes in your mind, it's like Charles Spurgeon, right? He said, you can't, thoughts are like birds. You can't stop a thought from flying over your head, but you can stop a thought. You can stop a bird from making a nest in your hair. Well, it's the same way with our thoughts. You don't have to keep thinking those thoughts. And I learned that from Tommy that we can replace a negative thought with a positive thought, with a true thought from scripture. So if you're depressed or if you're having a hard time, you could say, God is with me. The word of God says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And you can say, Jesus, help me, help me. And I just learned so many concepts 
concepts from him. And so we teamed up to bring this to you and we are calling it the Joy Challenge for Moms. So it's a two part process. You get the 40 videos with Tommy Newberry and you get a devotional written by the Help Club for Moms that's just for moms and it's based on the Word of God. They're short little devotions that get you in the Word of God and it helps you to unpack what Tommy talks about. And it has our mom tips, which are practical ideas to help you be more effective in your home and joy filled ideas like make a nice dinner for your family and sit around the table and talk about what you love about each other. Joy filled ideas are how to have more joy in your life practically. The cost is $19.99, which is about three or four Starbucks trips. That's it and you get it for 40 days. So I hope that you'll join us. Go to joychallengeformoms.com, joychallengeformoms.com, and sign up and join us, and then join us in the Help Club for Moms online group, because in that online group, we will pray for each other. We have Gratitude Friday, where we talk about what we're grateful about. We talk about the Bible studies, and it's really a way to dig deeper. So anyway, we hope you join us. We're really excited about this program and you'll be hearing more about this in the next couple of weeks. So I'll see you guys on August 3rd, 21st. Thank you. Bye.